All right, so this is going to be kind of fun. We lost power today, and because there's a, um, a tree over the line, and I can't. I'm gonna. We're in the middle of making dinner, and what we're going to do is make cornbread in what is called a box oven. It's what we use it when we're camping. We are fortunate enough to have a gas stove, and if we didn't have gas, we would put it on our wood stove. But I'm going to show you how our cornbread comes out in a camping box oven on top of a gas burner. And it's still light enough over here, and I'm going to be able to mix everything up before it gets too dark. It's just after 7, so I'm going to mix everything up, and we're going to put it right in the camp oven. All right, we'll be back soon. Okay, we got the uh, we got the cornbread in the box oven here. John, what did you say? You got it. Ever hot box oven. Ever hot box oven. And I don't know if I can get a good picture of that. It's showing 400 degrees. Yeah, I think I got it right there. It's showing 400. We've got it on really, really, really low flame. Like I don't even think I could get a picture of. Yeah. Actually, maybe it's done like 385 now. All right. All right. So. The recipe said 425, but we're just gonna have to wing it. We're just gonna really watch it carefully i can crank it up just a little bit we'll see we'll see all right oh we can't really see much because it, it is dark but we're yeah we're, so we're we're only getting about 360 this isn't the hottest burner we have but the thing is that you know you have to you, you have to keep the door closed with these things while you're while you're cooking because if you open it it's such a small contained unit that that you lose your heat quickly so yeah. I, I, I think we're good. I mean, it says 360, is it 320, is it 380? You know, it, it's, it's hard to tell without calibrating, but it, it will certainly cook the cornbread. Oh, no yeah. doubt about that. Yeah. During the storm, I don't know if we can see it, but we're collecting water because, you know, well, <laughs> we need water to flush toilets and whatnot. So we got a lot of these buckets going. All right, John, you were just saying I, I, we're, yeah, so it's we getting a, darker, so. so. So we have a cornbread in there right now. Yep, and we cannot open the door. Well, you, you can, but there's no sense in it. The, the thermometer is reading about 410 right now. And, you know, the, the, with these, it, they always cook the thing. I mean, it, the bottom might be a little crisp, the top might be a little crisp, but it will definitely cook, and, and you know, <laughs> most times they're perfect. But they're, they're, you, know, you, you just never know for sure. You were talking about something when you were, well, what, what, what my, my viewers might not know is my husband built a couple of mountain camps here in New Hampshire. And he's had this, have you had this particular Not camp this open? one, but out, out of the dozen I've had, this is the nicest model. So this is the one I've kept, I've, I've sold or given away all the other ones. And, and I've cooked, you know, some hundreds of things in, in um, you know, in ovens just like this. Uh, up to, a, you can actually cook a 14 pound <laughs> turkey in this. So, you know, it takes a while, but it has been done more than once. And I remember when you broke your hip back in 2000, um, we brought this, is this the one we brought out to camp? Yes. Well, all right, so guys, my, all right viewers. So back in 2000, John broke his hip and his arm and his elbow, and his brother James, who is also an avid outdoorsman, so we got to get him out into the woods. And so we trundled his sorry butt out into the woods and brought this with us. And we baked chicken and, and potatoes. Mm -hmm. It was awesome. Over, over, over a one burner camp stove. It was so awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, these we'll, things work great. We'll be back in a minute. All right. Hang on. What are we, what are we looking at? Feels, feels like it's pretty close. Mm, I'm still getting a mush there. Um, Just give it two more minutes. Two more minutes, okay. Yep. All right. Mm. There's our cornbread out of the box um, oven. Out of the box oven. Let's see real quick. Do a little test. Toothpick comes out clean. We love this. No, I, I don't even know what to yeah. say. This is so much fun. Yep, and we made clam chowder. Well, we had gas, gas stove for that too. But yeah, look at that. If you're making cornbread... Use the best buttermilk you can find, and the best buttermilk we have is, and I don't get paid by Kate of Old Orchard, Maine, but it is so good. Kate's buttermilk. All right, anyway. All right. If we, if we, if we can get one off the bottom of the pan. <laughs> well, let's see. That'll be the test. I mean, because we've made chickens and turkeys and stuff in these box ovens. 
No way. No way. Look at that. Perfect. Oh my gosh. Perfect golden brown. Oh my gosh. We did Absolutely it. Absolutely perfect. We did it. Yep. Yay. All right, I gotta take a picture yeah. of this. Not I like gotta... it's a surprise. I've done it before. I know, but, but isn't you know, it awesome? You never All right. know for sure. All right, I gotta take a picture. Hold. All right, I'll be back. All right, thanks so much, guys, for watching. This is so great. We did it. Well, now that we're in the light of day and the power has been restored, all is well with the world once again. That I just show you uh, a little bit clearer picture of this box oven. That, and it really, that was so much fun to be able to to know that we could cook even though we didn't have electricity. It does help to have gas though. And uh, so there it is. That's that's the old the old vintage camp oven. And there's that. It's still pretty dark. We have a pretty, it's pretty dark out this morning, rainy, but there you go. That's, that's what it looks like. Pretty cool, huh? So thanks for watching. Hope you, hope you enjoyed our little demonstration. Have a great day.